Congratulations, you've passed your nursing school, you've graduated. Now it's time to prepare and register for your NCLEX, your licensure exam. So let's take a look to the, in today's video about how to best go about that and how the process actually takes place. So if you are graduating from a nursing school in the US, most likely your nursing school will submit the transcripts to the nursing regulatory board, which is usually your state licensing um, agency. And as a student or graduate, there's a process that you have to follow then as well. So first of all, you need to submit your application to the NRB and your nursing school will certainly help you determine where to send the application to. You also need to register with a company called Pearson View and they are the ones that actually provide the testing sites and administer the exams. And at Pearson View, you create an account either online, by phone, or through a third party, which in some cases will be your school or your employer. So double check on if you need to do that or if somebody else will do that for you. And then of course, you need to also pay your registration fees with Pearson View. Then Pearson View confirms with the nursing regulatory body to make sure that you're eligible, that you met all your schooling and your clinical requirements to qualify to take the NCLEX exam. And you will get an email confirmation that that is actually the case, that you are eligible. And that usually only takes about two days to get that email confirmation. From there on, once Pearson View confirms your eligibility, you will get your ATT. That is one of the most important steps that is the authorization to test. And the ATT will tell you that you must um, test within a specified time period, which on average is about 90 days from when you receive that authorization. So make sure that you have a plan and that you've already studied and reviewed all the content so that you then feel ready to register within the 90 day or those the three month period. Once you have your authorization to, authorization to test, you can find a testing location close to you or wherever you would like to test and then schedule the exam. So uh, this is a quick overview of how the NCLEX registration process works. Please also check out my other videos um, on what to expect on actual testing day and more specifics about identifications that you can bring, what you can and cannot bring in general, and those kind of things to make sure that you are well prepared, not only from a content perspective, but also from a logistical standpoint to take your NCLEX and get ready to practice as a nurse. Thanks for watching.